This morning, we have a very special edition of Science with Sarah. Sarah Spivey and David Sears are at maximum reach, or rather reaching maximum independence. Well, they join us now to tell us about this organization and what they provide for our community. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. Everybody say hi to the camera this Good morning. morning. Yeah. We've got, we got a big crowd here today. Yes, we this do. This is a blast. Yes, we do. So. so we are, at, like you said, we're at RMI, Reaching Maximum Independence. We're here with Wendy. Wendy, tell us a little bit about RMI and the services sure. you guys provide. Sure. RMI has been around for 42 years. We started in 1982. Um, we have nine group homes that are spread throughout San Antonio. We offer this program, which is our life enrichment program, day habilitation services. They go into the community every day. They learn different life skills. Um, and this is where they spend the majority of their time. And then we also have a supported employment program where we help our participants find, get, and keep jobs in the community. For adults with special needs, As Adults yes. with special yeah. needs, yes. So you get a lot of them come here every day. What do you what do you do in this facility every sure. day? Sure. So we have a kitchen in the back where they learn a lot, learn to cook. They make cookies all the time. Um, we have dances, parties, karaoke is one of our I favorites, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Friday's karaoke day, it's a lot of fun. Um, they learn some math skills, just basic things that they can use in the community as they go out and meet other people. Um, they're really, really qualified, brilliant individuals, and we love working with them every day. Awesome. That's There's, there is an association with, with Morgan's Wonderland yes. as well, right? Um, yeah. Um, we have a participant here um, that goes to Morgan's Wonderland pretty frequently. Um, and she's in the audience right now. Um, <laughs> and so um, she comes here every day, and we really enjoy working with her and working with the Hartman family. Um, Gordon recently donated the park next door to us. Um, Gordon and Maggie Hartman did. So they built that for us last summer, and we use it every day. Um, yeah. Really enjoy. There's handicap accessible swings and all kinds Great. of stuff out there. If people want to get involved with RMI, or maybe they have a client that wants to apply to RMI, how do sure. people do that? Yeah, so they can contact me or go to our our webpage, um, rmihomes.org. We have a lot of information on there that'll direct you to the right person for each different service we offer. So we have a manager for our group homes, someone for our supported employment program, um, and if you're looking for overall, just how do I get services like this, Manny Vela is our operations director, and he's a great resource to reach out to. All right, so who, who's the chef? Who's the chef? Angie, where are you? Where's Angie? <laughs> I don't know where she is. She does, but she is our chef, and she is wonderful, and she can cook better than just about anybody I know. That's awesome. Well, we're <laughs> so excited. Thank you guys for having Thank us here you. today. Are you guys excited to do this experiment and talk a little bit to the zoo? Okay, well, coming up, we're going to be getting the experiment ready, and we're going to talk to the San Antonio Zoo. So stick around. Can't wait, guys. This morning, Science with Sarah takes Sarah Spivey and David Sears to the nonprofit organization Reaching Maximum Independence. So they're going to be doing a science experiment, but they also have some special guests from the San Antonio Zoo with them right now. Good morning, Sarah and David. Oh, my gosh. Good morning. David, I think, might have just a minor, minor aversion to snakes. Would that you say like, so? That was, like, that was like crawling and stuff. All over <laughs> like, well, this snake is super nice. What's yeah. their name? Yeah. This is. So this here is Suki. Suki is a Honduran milk snake and is a part of our animal ambassador program. So these are the animals that are trained for coming out and doing different programs with us. So Suki is here joining us today at RMI. But if you come and visit the zoo, we do an animal encounter every single single day at 1030 with animals like Suki or some of our other ambassadors. So whenever you visit the zoo, definitely make time to stop by and visit our team. That's awesome. I mean, you guys have a lot going on in the summer. Obviously, kids are out of school. A lot of people want to enjoy the zoo. What are some fun things you got going on just within the next month or so? Oh my goodness, so many things. So all summer long, we are having our dinosaur adventure park. So when you come and visit the zoo, not only do you see all of the amazing zoo animals, but we do have displays of 
life-size models of dinosaurs and lots of different fun activities. So if you're a dino fan, definitely come and visit the zoo. And this weekend in particular is a great time. Friday the 21st is our locals day. So $8 admission for Bear County residents. So it is a great time for everyone to come and visit the zoo. And we have so many things happening all summer long. And don't worry if you think it's too hot, we have cool zones, we have mist stations. We're gonna keep you cool and comfortable so you can have a wonderful day at the zoo. All right, so I got two questions. How tall is this snake? If you were like, just to like what? see how tall it was. <laughs> and what does it eat? So Suki here, all curled up, doesn't really look that big, but if we were to get him all stretched out, he's about five feet long. That's me. <laughs> he's as tall as you. That's me. So as tall as Sarah. And what Suki likes to eat? Rodents. They're okay. going to eat mice. They're yeah. going to eat rats. Makes they sense. are so important in the ecosystem. So if you don't want to have mice and rats running around, you do want to make sure we've got healthy populations of snakes around. They are awesome. I'm not afraid of them. I think he's pretty cute. And coming up, we're going to be doing this awesome experiment. We're going to be combining cornstarch and water to be making oobleck. Are you guys ready and excited? Yes. Okay, we'll do that after the break. <laughs> Hey everyone, we're at RMI and we're doing a fun science experiment today. We are making oobleck, which is a fun slime that acts as both a solid and a liquid. So David, are my you ready? My dirty, hold on. Oh, that's not good because that's for my home. So I'll have a conversation with my husband about that later. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so you're gonna take a cup of colored water and put it in there. We already stirred that up. We right, already stirred right, that. And then you're gonna take two cups of cornstarch and you're just gonna dump it in. Two cups. All right, here we go. And you're gonna mix it with your hands. And your hands are gonna get really, really messy because it's just cornstarch. And what you'll notice is that it starts to act as both a solid and a liquid. So look, it's a solid right now, but as soon as I open my hand, it's gonna fall apart. Isn't that cool? So that's all you need. Two cups of cornstarch and one cup of liquid. I brought this huge thing of power of, uh, what are these called? Paper, Paper towels, PowerPoint. Paper towels to rinse my hands off. Okay, is everybody ready to dump your cornstarch in your bowl? Okay, let's do it. Dump your cornstarch in your bowl, all of it, all of it, and then use your hands to mix it up. So you guys use your hands to mix it up. Use your hands to mix it up. Here we go. We're gonna do this together. Whoa, what does it feel like? It feels like. Does it feel sticky? Sticky. Sticky? Gooey? Yes, gooey. Gooey. Sticky. Oh, y'all's looks really good. Okay. So, can you try to ball it up? Make it a ball. Try. Does it form solid? And then when you open it, does it fall? Oh, look how cool that is. So, is it acting as a solid or a liquid? Yes, it is. It's solid. It's solid. And then when you let it melt, what does it act as? It is it's act as liquid. Liquid again. That's so cool. All right, over here. How y'all doing? Looks solid. How are you guys today? Good. Good and what? solid. It's solid? What's your name? Richard. Richard, okay. So, Richard, what I want you guys to do is Take it and then watch as it falls apart a little bit. We need a little more water in here. Yes. Let me grab some of my water. While she's getting some more water, Richard and I were here talking spurs earlier. So Richard, what should the spurs okay, do with their draft picks? I think if if the, the spurs so draft three thing thing keep it as long as the spurs are good. But if, it, if it's not any good, then just pray to trade for something better. Okay, so either get some really good players with their picks or trade them and get a better player. Is that right? Yes. Sums it up. See? Richard, San Antonio, are you listening? Pop, you listening? Richard's got you figured out. So, all right, how'd, that, how'd this go? Did you get some more water in there? Yes. Yeah. Nice good. Cool. Right. Well, you guys got some liquid in there. Ooh, let's put a little more water in here. <laughs> so you might have to work with the consistency of it. Oh, cool. Okay, now mix it up. <laughs> it's a liquid and a soft. Slime. You want to tell the camera what you're what you're experiencing? We're making a slime. A slime. 
slime. Okay. We're making slime. We're making slime. That's some really good slime you got Very in there. I like that color of slime too. Yeah. Too solid. It needs a uh, bit more water. Okay, well we can get more. You're on TV. Thank you. So I need a little more water? Yeah. I don't pick Grab a handful and hold it up. Let's see. Last time they said you were tired, I knew you were yeah. tired. Um, yeah, this is this could be my last time to stick my hand in some slime. So I'm gonna stick some of my hand in there with y'all, right? Oh, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Woo! That is kind of kind of that's kind of gross feeling, isn't it? Yeah, throw it slimy. That's all. Yes. All right. All right. We'll so guys, we kind of talked about it earlier, but this is David's last experiment with us, right? Yeah. He's retiring, so let's give him a round of applause. Oh, right. yeah. David, 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 David. Thank you. And in all seriousness, David, it has been wonderful to have you as my assistant. assistant. This has been so, you bring so much energy to science with Sarah. What has been some of your favorite memories? Visiting with the kids, visiting with the people, getting out of the station and being in the community and teaching some of these kids and some of these folks here about science with you and doing some of these experiments and getting your hands all slimy. <laughs> getting your hands in We've got slime. to blow some stuff up every yeah. now and then. So. I think science is for everyone. Science and you've really fun. helped yeah, our fun. community it's learn that fun. too. So it's thank you, fun. David. We're going right. to miss you. I mean, yeah. David! 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 So for more fun science experiments, you can go to haystack.com. We're going to miss David a lot. But was this fun, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Wave hi to everybody at home with your slime hands. We are, we are uh, one of many uh, goodbyes to come as we go into next week.